Hi Bible Beauties! Welcome back to the channel and if this is your first time here, welcome. My name is Shelby. I am the co-founder of Bible Beauty Co. And every single week we are here just continuing as dynamic women to spread the gospel in diverse ways. And this week is no different. We are going to be doing a how to Bible study and I'm going to be focusing on the soap method because that is the method that I use to Bible study. I wanted to do a detailed video on the soap method in case you've come across it before, but not necessarily known exactly how to walk through that process when you're Bible studying. So I pray that this video will be helpful for you if you are new to Bible study or if you are just looking for a way to be more consistent in the way in which you study the Bible. I pray that this video will help you in that pursuit. The S in the soap method stands for scripture. So when you are reading your Bible, you are going to read your scripture. You're going to look for or be on the lookout for any verses that stand out to you. Typically, once I finish reading my reading for the day, my Bible reading for the day, I go ahead, I have my journal ready, whichever journal I'm using for that day. And I write down the scriptures that stood out to me. This might be one scripture, it can be two to three scriptures, but you're gonna write down whatever scriptures really stood out to you while you were doing your Bible reading so that you can, one, begin to hopefully remember that scripture. But also, I would encourage you to, once you have written out the scripture that stands out to you, I would encourage you to go ahead and look at the scripture again and see if there's any particular words that stand out to you and then dive a little bit deeper by defining that word using the Strong's definition. Oftentimes when we define words in scripture, what we find is it brings a new level of understanding, a new level of meaning to that scripture. So I just want to encourage you to dive a little bit deeper. The O in the soap method is for observe or observation. So essentially when you do the soap method, the first thing you're doing is right, you're looking at that scripture that stood out to you. Secondly, you're summarizing all that you read. Now, sometimes I don't have enough space <laughs> to write out everything that I read, especially when I'm reading a chapter of a Bible book at a time. But I try to at least write out the highlights or the key points and key takeaways that I feel like really stood out and are, are, <clears throat> and are important to me in this specific season of life. So putting it simply, when you are doing your observations, you're gonna wanna ask yourself, what did I read? What were the key takeaways about what I read? How can I summarize this in a way in which will speak to me when I review my notes in the future? And what was like the sentiment of what was being said? So um, is there any any like current things that are happening? I say current, but I mean current in what you're reading. <laughs> is there anything during that time period that's happening that I wanna capture in my summary that's gonna help me to better understand the reason why this passage is being said in this way. Hopefully that makes sense. So sometimes you need to dig a little bit deeper in your Bible study time and look at the historical things that are happening in order to really do a good observation of what you read. The A in the SOAP method is all about application. And to me, this is like the best part of the Bible study um method is the fact that you take that time to really say how is this scripture speaking to me what is it that the holy spirit is revealing to me in this season through this scripture that i want to take away that i want to apply to my life um and how what i'm sorry i'm trying to say too many words at once <laughs> and how does this scripture change the way in which i live out my faith on a day-to-day -day basis so there are a few simple questions that you can ask yourself when you're doing your application period. And I'm gonna read them straight from a journal that I did some years ago. How does what you read apply to your life? What lessons can you take away? How does what you read still apply in today's time and environment? How did it make you feel? And this is also a good place where I like to write questions. If you've ever watched one of my Bible study with me videos, you know I often have more questions than answers during my Bible study and I'm okay with that. I feel like as I've matured, I have become more and more um, excited about having questions during my Bible study time. More and more, 
more and more excited about looking further into what that means, discussing it with other believers. I think there's so much maturing and growing that happens when we allow ourselves to be sharpened by other believers. And that's why I would really want to encourage you, if you have not already, to check out the Bible Beauty Co. Patreon. I will make sure to put that link in the description box. Every single week on Thursdays, we do our Bible study online or virtually <laughs> where us in the sisterhood, we come together, um, we study a, a scripture together. We usually have a book that we're reading from and we just discuss the word of God. We, we bring our questions. We bring the things that we're like, I'm not quite understanding this. Or, you know what? I read this scripture and then I read that scripture and then I feel like they're conflicting and something in my understanding is off. And it's so great, the conversations that we're able to have. Um the maturing <laughs> that I've seen all of us um, have as a result of that sharpening together. And also there, you never know who has what life experience and how it can speak to you in your current season. So it's just a great opportunity to let other women um, breathe life, you know, <laughs> over you in your circumstances, because oftentimes we're not just sharing the word we're sharing our lives we're sharing the things that we're struggling with we're sharing you know the things that we need prayer for we're sharing our praise rep praise reports so it's a really great faith space it's a safe faith space where you can just bring your whole self and really have the opportunity to not only fellowship with other women but also grow in your faith and so i definitely want to encourage you if you have not checked out the patreon to Click the link in the description box and check it out. Consider joining and becoming a part of the sisterhood. The P in the SOAP method is for prayer. Of course, we cannot close out any Bible study without prayer. I often recommend that you start with prayer as well, but hey. Um, so the P in the SOAP method is all about prayer. So obviously you have, you have read the scripture, you have written what stood out to you, you have written out your observations, you're thinking about how it applies, and now this is your opportunity to speak to God about what it is that you desire to see change in your life, what it is that you're grateful that he's already changed in your life. Um, maybe you want to pray this scripture over someone in your life. You know, maybe this scripture is speaking to you and you want to pray over someone that you know based on this scripture. So this is really your opportunity to just talk to God, to fellowship with him genuinely about what you've learned and what you've taken away from your Bible study time. I'm also going to share a few questions that I have written out here for the pray method in case you need a little bit more help. What do you want to tell God as a result of what you've read? What do you want to thank him for as a result of what you read? And what do you need his help with? So our prayer time is also about just being genuine and honest, <laughs> authentic about what we're struggling with and how we need God to help us you know we how we need Christ to fill up every broken place in our lives and you know trusting and knowing that he is willing to do that and that he is going to do that and there's no work that he starts that he's not going to complete right like Jesus is going to complete every work that he started so just believing that you can hand that burden over to him and that he's going to carry it for you and that he is going to mature you in that area I pray that something that I said today was helpful and that it blessed you as you continue in your faith walk with Christ Jesus. And until next time, you guys, be blessed, be safe. See you next time. Bye.